explosions erupted across Russia and Russian-occupied Ukraine on Thursday night as Ukrainian forces escalated their weeks-long campaign of deep strikes on Russian logistics and airfields. The blasts, targeting ammunition dumps, airfields and other facilities, could disrupt supply lines and air operations and further isolate Russian troops in Ukraine, especially in the south where Kyiv has been struggling to organize a counter-offensive aimed at liberating the port of Kherson from Rus. The strikes began around sunset. An ammo dump exploded in Tymanovo, in Russia's Bielgotovlast 20 miles from the border with northeast Ukraine. A fire also broke out at Staryaskal airfield in Bielgrad. Meanwhile something exploded in Novokokovka on the bank of the Dnipro River 30 miles east of Kherson. It was the second time in 24 hours the Ukrainians had struck Russian facilities in the town. Around the same time, Russian air defenses reportedly opened fire around Belbek Airport in western Crimea and near the Kerch Strait on the eastern side of the peninsula. It's not totally clear all the explosions were the results of Ukrainian attacks, but the locations of the blazes are consistent with Kyiv's ongoing campaign of deep strikes. That campaign has focused on shaping the battlefield in southern Ukraine while also plucking at Russian supply hubs and airfields around Kharkiv, Ukraine's most vulnerable free city just 25 miles from the border with Russia in the northeast. The southern strikes coincide with a Ukrainian counter-offensive on the ground. Ukrainian battalions back in May forced their way across the Anhulets River, a national defensive line that, for months, had separated the Russians and Ukrainians north of Kherson. But the Ukrainians apparently didn't advance very far beyond their river lodgements. The Russian 49th Combined Arms Army with its dozen battalions stood between the counter-attackers and Kherson, 